All right. Uh, moving right along, we got three more games. Uh, this is the game that a lot of people are talking about for the wrong reasons. We got Washington coming to Michigan State. Uh, I'm not sure. What is Washington ranked right now? They're top 10, right? Like eight. Yeah. Okay. So top 10 team coming into East Lansing. This is just such a – this line, like, this was actually the hardest line for me to pick. Um, 16 and a half, Washington is favored by on the road. Over-under is 57 and a half. Brad, what happens in this game? Um, I don't know. Well, don't we're know. asking say this. you because we we're, we're going to know what's going to happen betting-wise. All right, I'm going to say this. Okay. Michigan State has a better chance to win today than they did on Saturday night, last Saturday night. They're going to have a better chance to win now since things have happened. Okay. But are you accounting for the opponent that they're playing, though? I am, yeah. We uh, Washington is pretty much the same team as they were last year. We played them last year at Washington, so we have that. Uh, Michael Penix is going to do his thing. I saw some stat today that said their leading rusher has 12 attempts. They throw the ball 90% of the time. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Our secondary still isn't strong, Michigan State, but it is improved. I'm a little worried that uh, Jacoby Winman is not going to play this game because he had a pectoral injury that we don't know about. That would be a big loss. But our our defensive line is much better than it was last year. If they can get to Penix and cause some issues and our secondary can hold up, I don't like us to win this game. But uh, 16 and a half at Spartan Stadium? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. I got it. I got it. Uh, 35-24 Washington. So I'm taking Spartans and uh, I think the over. Yep. You have the over there. Wilson, is uh, Brad right about this? Is there any way Washington can come in and win by 17 points in this game? Yes, I think they will. I think they'll cover as well as go the over. Honestly, this game comes down to the first two possessions for each team. Um I think if Washington comes out and scores and scores, Michigan State's, you know, they've gone three and out. I think their first, like, three series every game they played so far this year. We fall down 14 nothing right off the bat. We can't get Carter back in doing this thing. Makes us one-dimensional, and I just – it'll deflate the fan base, which I think will be supportive and loud to start the game. But I think a 14-0 start will just crush it. And so I got Washington to cover and over. Uh, I'm with you on the Washington part. I think that this is going to be I've I've liked what I've seen out of the defense, especially compared to last year out of Michigan State. So I'm gonna say that it's gonna be a little bit more of a slug fest and fifty seven points is a lot still. Um so I'm taking Washington to cover the sixteen and a half. And I don't know much about Washington's defense. But uh, if they can stop the run a little bit, I think that they're going to be okay holding uh, Michigan State to a low number. So I took the under in this one. Um, real quick, there, there, real quick, there was a stat I think I saw that Washington was number two in the country in terms of yards per play. They're like at 9.2 yards per play, and USC was like at 9.3. So I, I think Michigan State's young secondary could be in trouble. That's a that's a big number for yards per play. I'd didn't know that they mm-hmm. went that high. 